All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I want to, I want to talk to my, the, you know, I want to talk to the, the uh, well, everybody. Let me just talk to everybody, but especially the bronze community because, and, and minorities and or people who think they're minorities but they're really not. You know, I mean, this is, I mean, the words do matter, right? And so when you call yourself a minority and you're really not a minority, if you look around the world, you're not a minority, right? Matter of fact, if you look in America, you're really not a minority either. They just tell you you are and you just believe it, right? So you, know, you don't know what you are, you know, because you don't know what to trust and you don't know what the real numbers are. Um, but yet you, you wear it proudly to, to, to be, you know, to be at the bottom, you know, I'm in the hood and I'm in the ghetto and I'm a minority and I'm poor. Like when, who told you to, 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 to say these things and be proud, you know, <laughs> about it. Right. And so it's, it's, it's weird, man. And, but that's the way they function us. That's the way they, 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 they have gotten to us. And so. They they're after Nicki Minaj. We already know this, right? They the White House made statements and trying to get phone calls to doctors. Uh, we the, we had the um, you know uh, her her country made govern government made statement. They probably told the, the Biden administration probably told their her government to make quickly make statements that the that the story is false. You know. <laughs> I mean, they came out really quickly. Said well, we we did our research and uh, it's false. You know, with the statements that she made about um, the the guy, you know, that that had uh, adverse effects on the uh, with the shot is false. You know, <laughs> they didn't show any proof of that, but okay. You know, um, so you know, so Nikki's just out here lying about her uh, family, friends, and stuff. So I don't know. It, it's it's weird. This is just weird. Um, but the fact that they paid so much like they're literally like i told you guys this is why he's not this is why you shouldn't worship these people in hollywood and you don't want to be any of these people in hollywood because you are what these people are watched 24 hours a day seven days a week they cannot even talk to their fans without somebody uh seeing it and running literally joyce reed running to msnbc <laughs> to get on live television and tell and, and tell her and try to tell Nicki minaj what to do you know, you said, you said, talking to those people, you should have told them that, that they all need the shot, right? I was like, whoa, because Joyce Reed wasn't saying that under Trump administration. She was saying, we need to be careful. We need to study this shot. We need to study the, uh, the Vax more. We need to do our research and our homework. We shouldn't just be taking whatever the president tells us to take. And now all of a sudden, she, when it's Biden's in there, she's all, we just need to, you just need to tell them to take the shot. It doesn't matter what type of effects they get. They all need to take the shot, right? So it, it's it's because somebody's being paid, right? She She's a puppet. And uh, so when the script changes, she reads whatever's on the script, just like Biden does, doesn't, you know? But anyways, um, and so Nikki talks about it here, but my, my thing is, my thing is this, Nikki talks about how, you know, like you can't even like talk to people anymore. You can't even like, Liberal. This is why I say liberals. Lib, liberalism is a cult, right? Just just like people say Trumpism is a cult, right? Because Trump doesn't do anything wrong, and 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 they worship him, you know. <laughs> so so you know. But but liberalism is a cult as well, right? Where it, you literally any if you try to argue anything, they will come after you. Doesn't matter who you are, right? And you, know, you must follow what they say and shut up, or do you? Or they will come after you. We talked about this before, and many of my many of my friends and and and, and people that follow me, some of them are like, "Nah, man, you're just tripping." I'm like, "Okay, you're next. You're gonna be next. One of you all is gonna be next because they're gonna be doing things that you don't you secretly don't agree with. But if you come out and say anything about it." Like you talk to your fans about all your people on your Twitter about it and say, hey, let's do you can do do your own research and, you know, you know, make sure everything is good before you, you go ahead and make a decision. Uh oh, that's not that's not what they want to hear, Nikki. Right. They want to hear you telling people to take the shot and shut up. Right. And so now they're coming after Nikki, even the White House. White House is a bit has busy things to do and they're stopping what they're doing to make sure Nicki Minaj plays by their rules. Right, it's unbelievable. So, so Nikki's like, yeah, you know, yeah. 
if you're if you're black and, and a Democrat and tells you to, uh, to shove marbles up your you blank, uh, you simply have to, right? If another party tells you to look out for that bus, stand there and get hit by the bus because another party is telling you to, a Republican or independent is telling you to, uh, you know, to watch out for the bus. So you're not going to, uh, you, you don't care what they say. And so you're just going to stand there and get hit by the bus. You'd rather, and literally liberals would rather get hit by a bus than listen to a Republican tell them that, hey, the bus is coming, move out the way. Right, and so that that's the what that's what our country has become, and the same thing with with uh, Republicans uh, not wanting to listen to some liberals as well uh, about things as well, right? And so everybody's not your enemy just because you're a liberal, Republican, or independent. That does not mean you're enemies. It just means that you have different views, right? But but we're taking it to the next level because of social media and the and the and the and the mainstream media and their hatred and their pro propaganda for a new world order. They are so angry that the new world order has not risen completely yet, and, and the antichrist is still hasn't hasn't been named and, and come out yet. They're so angry about that that that. That they're you know they hate humanity but yet they twist it to make it look like you know they love humanity you know but yet their actions say that they hate humanity and people are but they understand the mindset they understand that people don't look at actions people look at words people look at signs symbols and words and and colors they don't look at people's actions that's how they get people, right? That, that's how millions of people are under the democratic mind control, right? Because they don't look at actions. They only look at the words and stuff. Well, she was hugging, she was hugging, uh, you know, that woman, you know, she was, uh, she was hugging her. Uh, a Republican wouldn't hug her like that. Oh my God. Because she's hugging somebody for 15 seconds on the television doesn't mean that she cares. But that's how they get you, and they've been getting you like that for years. And while that while that liberal is hugging a, a, a single mother, she's also then she's also secretly stripping the money away from single mothers in, into uh, into uh, in uh, rich neighborhoods. This is why this is why all the uh, liberal um, states. All their all the school systems don't have any money for you know all the cities and and ghettos and hoods have no money. They have they literally stripped your money away while telling you they love you, and they sent it off into the rich neighborhoods. <laughs> and you and you and you can't even put two and two together because they're protesting and throwing up black fists and stuff. Because signs, symbols, and, and colors is how they keep you mind control while they do the actions where you don't even you don't even you, you don't even see it coming. If you put away the signs, symbols, and colors and just look at their actions, you better get you you, you better start gearing up for war because you're gonna realize that these people are your enemy and these people are at war with you. So this person, Michael, says, not true, Nikki, you know, blacks and other minorities typically support Democrats because Democrats have endlessly a strive for equality for minorities. This is a complete false statement because of their actions. See, they're giving you the rainbow colors. They're giving you all the protests. They're, they're pretending to care on, on the mainstream media about minorities while, while, while saying, stay home, do nothing, right? Uh, who cares about your job? Collect unemployment, you know, collect food stamps, collect, uh, uh, um, you know, social security or whatever the case may be and be nothing with your life. We'll take care of you. You know, bring in, bring in the socialism, bring in the communism. Don't do not, don't, 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 don't strive for nothing. You know, don't go and get your destiny. Just, just be a bum. You know what I mean? Your mother's basement. Like, this is what they, this is what they think that this is equality, right? You know, it's not blind trust. So, so he's saying that, uh, you know, blacks and minorities following the Democrats and just trusting the Democrats a year in year out while their lives are getting miserable and more miserable, more miserable, and everything is corroding around them and and de and being crashing around them. It's not blind trust. It's trust based on decades of Democrats having your back. Yeah, okay, yeah. That, that like I said before, folks. 
they don't care about action. They only care about signs, symbols, and colors, right? And so this is decades of Republicans trying to keep you down. <laughs> so the Republicans have tried to keep us down, but yet history and actions actually speak of the complete opposite. Right. Even though both parties are terrible and I, I'm not I, I don't want to be in any party. Right. But under Republicans, under Republicans, when African-Americans were uh, that was what, 65 and, 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 and under when we were when African-Americans and minorities were Republicans, we had it made. <laughs> We were, we, we were, our women didn't look like they look now with a multicolor hair and weaves and, and all types of crazy stuff. We had natural looking women with, and they were wearing beautiful dresses down. To, they weren't wearing all this hoochie mama stuff, right? Butt naked all over the place. They had dignity, right? Um, they, they stayed in marriages and they, and they fought for their marriages and their husband and the man who had, tra we had trades, men had uh, beautiful uh, suits and, and, and nice uh, clothing, and, you know, and, and we were clean cut, we were clean, we were, we were fresh, we were paid, we had houses, we had land, and we had, um, we had businesses, Black Wall Street and all these things. Um, so under Republican, when we were, uh, when we were Republican, okay, when we became complete trash and looking like a, a complete embarrassment when we went to the Democratic Party, and, and mostly that was led by the ladies because the ladies wanted welfare and food stamps, right? And so the Democrats were offering free welfare, food stamps, and free stuff. And we went over to that side, and now we look like this, right? Multicolored hair, wigs, weaves, lace fronts, fake eyelashes, fake lips, fake breasts, fake butts. People are dying over uh, butt implants, <laughs> you know, fake bodies, you know, uh, men wearing fake hair now, uh, you know, I mean, just absolutely looking crazy, right? And uh, so this is this is what we are, and this is under the liberalism. So he's saying that that uh, under republicanism, we were we 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 didn't they they didn't hold us down when when actually the facts is that that after before, about six, 1965 and and before we we were absolutely killing it, and they had to do something about it because uh, we would have took it, we would have literally taken over because if you think about it, um, if we had stayed right where we were. And the NBA and the NFL got popular like it is right now, and we were still under Republican. Oh my goodness! <laughs> they would have went to war against us <laughs> because the America would have went to war against the African Americans because they would had they would have had to because we would have been so powerful. Now what we have right now is image, symbols, signs, colors, and purchasing power. Right? We're not. We're at the bottom. Right now, we're 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 they they call us the embarrassment, right? And so, but but we have the but we have the dancing and the image and all that stuff, and we have the purchasing power, right? Uh, because we spend like crazy. But can you imagine if we were, if we had that same mindset of about 1960, 1963, and, and we were we we were Republican, we were we 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 dressed in suits and nice, and and we dressed clean, and and we the women were clean and respectable, and we were clean and respectable, and we had trades, and we had businesses, and we ran, we owned everything like like we did back then. Uh oh. And then we also played in the NFL and the, and the NBA, but we signed contracts that didn't sell our souls and had, didn't have to do ritual sacrifices and all this type of stupid stuff. Yeah, they, they would have never let that happen. See, everything started blowing up when we became liberals because they knew we would sell out. They, they, they took over, you know, they took over hip hop. They started selling us out and that, destroying our own communities and stuff. But under Republicans, and under that under, under that firm family and family first idea that we had, right? Family first, just like Asians have family first. You know, all types of other race have family first, except for us, because we're lib because most of us are liberals, and liberals don't preach family first. They preach feminism, women as God, um, no man in the house, LGBTQRSTUV. They don't preach family first and man is a king and and, and the woman is a queen. They, they don't preach that in the liberalism. So that's why they destroyed the family. 
But yet this person's saying that they have our backs. <laughs> so, so I wrote down here, I said, so welfare, food stamps, ghettos, demonic music, which is liberalism, right? That's the Zionist liberals doing the demonic music, right? And then we got the LGBT, we got drug epidemic. The, what about the crack epidemic when they flooded our streets with crack cocaine? How about how about how about recently when they flooded Chicago with guns and when guns? Yeah, the liberals have our backs. <laughs> Unbelievable. And so the crime bill from Joe Biden and other liberals. How about how about destroying Haiti? The Clinton Foundation and Harry Clinton and Bill Clinton. Do you remember that? That's having our backs, isn't it? Cutting funds for schools, libraries, parks. You go to liberal areas, there's no schools. The schools are all run down. There's no parks. There's no there's no libraries. <laughs> Putting liquor stores and drug stores and strip clubs in every block. Yeah, those are all liberal areas. New York, Maryland, Atlanta, you know, all these areas, Miami. Like, oh, there's, there's liquor stores and, and strip clubs in every block. They're really helping us out, aren't they? You know, pushing vaccines on us. Yeah, uh, feminists, Me Too movement, Antifa, Black Lives Matter. Yeah, that's really helping us out. That's really helping us out. That's really helping uh, us out, man. Michael, that's really how they really helped us out, man. <laughs> oh my God! Like, when are we gonna wake up? Well, Michael can't wake up because he he's part of the, he's he's doing all this. Wear mask, LGBT, vote blue, resist, resist, uh, and all this stupid stuff. So he's already gone. We, there's nothing. That, only God can save him, right? And so there's nothing I can say to him to, to change that. Uh, he's gone, right? So there's some people that are gone and they and they might never come back. And then there's other people that maybe God will save, right? And so it is what it is. But uh, to say that, to, to, to know the truth and to spit facts and then say, they really help, they really help hold us down. While, while, meanwhile, while you're saying that, people are taking craps outside of uh, San Francisco, which used to be a very, very uh, wealthy and, and uh, a respectable uh, city and area and town, people now, homeless people are, have invaded and are everywhere because of liberals, right? And because liberals came in there and ran that thing down, people are taking craps outside. There's homeless tents everywhere. And, you, and that's having your back, though. That's having your back. They destroyed... California, they're destroying New York, and that's having, and they're all moving out of there and going to Texas and other places, and now and, and Georgia, and that's having your back though. They're holding it down for you. Why? Why isn't there a big exit out of Republican country, uh, states? Why isn't there? People love Republican states. Why isn't there a big, big uh, exodus out of Republicans? Why is it only? Uh, why is there a big exodus out of Washington uh, state? Uh, a big exodus out of New York? A big exodus out of out of um, California? Uh, a big exodus out of Colorado? Uh, you know, there's people leaving Jersey. That's, that's all Repub That's all. That's all liberalism. That's all liberals. Michigan, another big, big one. Massive exit out of Michigan. All liberalism. But yet you're saying that they have our backs. But yet your people, your own people, Michael, are leaving in droves out of those states. I wonder if they're saying while they're leaving, man, liberals have my back. That I had to leave my own state that I love because it's embarrassing and it's and it's and everything is now sky high in prices, rent sky high. They have destroyed the 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 the, uh, the economies. They have destroyed the school system. They have destroyed everything. We have to leave. Liberals have my back as I as I'm riding into a red state. <laughs> see, they don't see actions. Action. They hate actions. They only, these liberals only like signs, symbols, and they will get out there and they will paint with you, Black Lives Matter on the streets. And then when you show them facts, they will rip that stuff off and they will tell you to get out of here. <laughs> because facts don't matter to liberals. 
it's only signs, symbols, and colors, man. I got to make you feel good, and that's it. While I destroy you, I'll make you feel good. And that's what we've seen. That, those are the actions that we have seen. And that's a fact. Eyes open.